right, welcome back everybody. I'm Kalani. In this video, we're looking at a transition uh, from 4-4 four, four to 12-8. You could say 6-8, kind of interchangeable. Uh, both of these feels, and you notice the first thing I did was put down or lay down a cowbell on just a steady beat. And that's the one thing in common uh, besides the instrumentation. So I'll talk about the instruments I'm using. This is an important skill for any percussionist and really any musician, which is be able to be able to switch uh, seamlessly and fluidly between uh, a duple meter, like four, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, into a triple meter or a ternary meter or compound meter, like 12, eight, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So what we're doing essentially is changing the, uh, we're changing a quarter note or eighth notes into a triplet a ternary meter. So instead of being based on two eighth notes or four 16th notes, one E and a two E and a one E and a two E, and we're basing our, our subdivision on three. Da, 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 So one of the first things you want to practice to do this is go back and forth between one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a two. One ti ta, two ti ta, three ti ta, four ti ta, da ti ti, da ti ti, da ti ti, da ti ti. And you can get metronomes to do to do that or help you do that. What I recommend is just have a pulse and practice it, and then make a recording of yourself. You'll see where you need to uh, work. You'll see you know the the weak points and the points where you need to put a little more time in. Let's listen again though. Just to review, now that we've analyzed this a little, and uh, before we do that, um, I do want to say thanks for subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell to get notifications if you like this content, like the video, hit it now. Uh, in this video, we're using the cowbell, it's a mambo bell, kind of a large cowbell. We're using um, shekere, a small shekere. We're using claves. We're using a conga drum down here and a set of bongos on a stand. Okay, so let's start again with the cowbell. We'll listen to uh, one of the ensembles. And uh, I also put the cajones in there to show you that you can use the same, you could use a cajon uh, rhythm or a, a bass kind of rhythm that you match to one rhythm. You can actually use that in the other rhythm too. It kind of works. So we're gonna listen to that as well. Here's the cowbell. Here we go. Cajon, which I recorded for the 12 8 side, and I'm going to play the 4 4 side ensemble so you can hear it. bring in the 12-8 ensemble and I'm also gonna play this cajon which I did for the 4-4 side which is pretty straight let's hear those two together that's easy right have we learned so far that we need to practice moving back and forth between 6-8 and 12-8 
And this ensemble, this ensemble I'm putting together also very basic, you know, just playing a basic pattern on the cowbell, basic clave rhythm. If you'd like to learn more about those instruments and those rhythms, see us at patreon.com slash Kalani. I've got tons of lessons over there already. There's lots of lessons here on YouTube on the World Drum Club channel as well. Um, homework for you, listen to Night in Tunisia, Dizzy Gillespie uh, and other, other artists. Uh, Night in Tunisia is a tune that goes, you typically the arrangement goes back and forth between 6, 8, 12, 8, I mean, sorry, uh, 4, 4 and uh, 6, 8 slash 12, 8. Uh, so listen to that. You can find other examples. If you have other songs that you know of or other links, you want to link to a uh, YouTube video below that switches in time between 4-4 four, four, or what we call common time, uh, duple meter, right? One yenda, two yenda. Switches between that and a, and a 6-8 or 12-8. Then put them in the, in the description. I'm sorry, in the comment area. In the description, you can find links to lots of courses that we have at our Patreon site. Uh, also, before I let you go, I recommend that you practice with a click and then play a drum. You can practice playing a pattern yourself, uh, like the ones I was doing, just with a, with a click. So let, let's do that. switch and switch back switch back okay so practice that uh, and that'll build your skills and then you can practice all these instruments uh, with the different feels duple meter or 4-4 and 12-8 or triple meter all right Hope you guys like this content. If you do, hit that uh, thumbs up, hit the bell so you get notifications. Leave your kind and helpful comments below, and I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.